In this video we're going to talk about aligning items. That's a very important concept uh, for rigging and we have several ways to do it both in layout and modeler using Genoma 2. So let's start creating a null and let's define a, a different shape, a pyramid and let's use Z as axis. So let's go in perspective view and let's turn on the grid. So we can better see the alignment of the item. Let's hit the Y key so we can also see the rotation axis. The blue bank rotation axis covers a very significant role defining the orientation of the item. When we are manipulating the transformations of an item in Lightway we can use three different coordinate system word, parent and local. The parent coordinate system is the one uh, active by default and it's the one we should use uh, while animating but even uh, when we want to take a look at the real orientation of our item in the scene. We will talk about the differences between the three different coordinate systems you find in Lightwave in another dedicated video. The two concepts we need to explore in this video if we want to use the alignment options in Genoma 2 are the pole vector and record pivot rotation. So I'm going to clone this item and move it a little bit and back in rotation mode we can notice this blue arrow here. This arrow it's showing the bank orientation so let's try rotating the bank. We can see how the pitch is not following the rotation. Adding is not following either. So what can we do to make those two axes be aligned to the new bank rotation? We can use the Shift P shortcut or under Setup the Record Pivot Rotation command. So now you can see how heading and pitch are perfectly aligned to the new bank orientation. We can also define the bank orientation using a pole vector. Let's see how it works. I'm going to add the null. Let's move this null about here and let's rename it pole. Now if we select this item, open the motion options and add this pole as a pole item for this item. Well you can see first that the bank controller has been set to align to pole. So this is very important to notice this happens automatically. So now if we move this object you can see how the orientation of the item is changing. So this arrow it's it's pointing to the null. This is another way to define the orientation, the bank orientation of an item. Of course we can also select this item again and use the record pivot rotation command. So again now we have all the axes, the, the heading and pitch align to the bank. You can see how we're still free of rotating the item on the pitch and the heading while the bank orientation is still controlled by the pole vector and uh, in any time we can select this item, hit shift P and record the new rotation. In the second part of this video we will see how those concepts uh, apply to Genoma 2 and we'll take a look at the different ways that can be used to define a Genoma item orientation in Modeler.